Hi, welcome back to the channel and to another one of our Riviera Challenge videos in which we're attempting to drive the whole of the French Riviera in a Citroen Ami. Today we've got a special treat for you because we've gone to the far side of Nice where we're going to take you to the wonderful medieval village of saint Genet, a village where they promise we will be able to drive our Citroen Ami through the narrow medieval streets. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we are on our way to saint Genet. I did a rhyme there, but unfortunately we are now stuck in the most monstrous traffic jam in the centre of Nice because the Promenade des Anglais closed because of the carnival. Um, and we have our lunch reservation at this very special restaurant that we're excited to show you uh, at one o'clock. So, um, it's going to be very tight, isn't it, Mr. Boo? It's going to be a bit tight. So, we're now 55 minutes from leaving Villefranche, and uh, we're barely onto the Promenade des Anglais. It's going well. So one hour, five minutes after leaving Villefranche, we've made it onto the Promenade des Anglais. <laughs> we've just rung the restaurant and said we're going to be uh, half an hour late. That's optimistic. We've made it through Cancer Mare. It's five to one. <laughs> An hour and 25 minutes to cover, uh, ooh, what about 16 kilometers? Yeah, tiny. Result. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful. And now I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down and I don't know what I would do with you yeah you pull me up when I'm falling down hey now look into my eyes you can use them as a mirror baby you're my ticket to paradise whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now. it's a gorgeous day and it's a gorgeous drive I can't recommend this drive enough it's super fun This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now I'm looking to my eyes You can use them as a mirror when you get to here, you have to take a right up this uh, very narrow passage. Does that mean we stop that red? Uh, <laughs> I think it must do. I really don't know. No, it's gone now, so we can go. Oh, so we can go. So yeah, um, proceed with caution, as they say in uh, all good brothels. So there's a couple of hairpins around here for you to discover. Oh lovely, I love a hairpin. Look at that rock up there. It's absolutely incredible. Look at it, you can see through the roof like. Oh, and this is the hairpin, is it? Yeah, there's a oh my truck God. coming down. This is um this is interesting. Oh la la. She's skidding. Oh, that was a little hairy, Mr. Boo. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to It's another hairpin. Oh yep. my god, look at this. She's never gonna make it onto the car behind us just to add to the fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, 23 kilometers of autonomy remaining and dropping fast what I'd say. So there should be a charger um, not too far from where we are now on our 
left hand side. Where? So up here on the left. Here? Yeah, on the left, left, left. <laughs> there it is, there it is. <gasps> is it working across everything, folks? Well, we made it. We've got 21 kilometers of autonomy left. Uh, we need this thing to be working and then we need to get to that restaurant quick. Stage one. No, it's working. Yeah? It's working. Hooray! Two, two hours twenty two hours twenty-eight required. Two hours twenty-eight required, lunch required. Let's go. Oh, we're just about gonna make it on time, Mr. Boo, for our lunch. And I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. So this is where we're taking you, the restaurant Bistronomique La Table de Baus, cuisine of the market. This looks very promising, Mr. Boo. What are you going to have? I am going to have the entree, for an entree, I'm going to have the earth pané coulant. What's that? Like a drippy, a drippy egg. <laughs> And then? Uh, and then I'm going to have the risotto uh, with uh, figatelle. Figatelle. Mm. Yum, yum. And I am going to have foie gras, very politically incorrect. And uh, then I'm going to have the anglette of bird with gratin dauphinois. Mm. So what are these? They've <laughs> arrived as a little... Uh, little amuse bush of amuse tapenade. Bush. Oh, it's tapenade. Mm. Which is what, anchovy? No, or olive. Olive, mm. olive tapenade, lovely. Mmm, it's really nice tapenade. Okay, moi je vais prendre le oeuf pané, oui. Et le risotto, oui. Et pour monsieur? Pour moi. Uh, foie gras et après uh, anglais de beurre, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Seigneur? Uh, no, bleu, s'il vous plaît. Bleu, parfait. Oui. Mm. Merci. Merci. So, Mr. Boo, what's that? This is my earth pane, which is like a breaded egg. So it's almost like a scotch egg, I think. But it's supposed to be runny inside. Oh. And there's only one way to find out. Give it a give it a poke. And it's in some kind of mushroom uh, mushroom. Pumpkin. Oh, have you got it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's... Look at that. Oh, that looks lovely. Is it just a, a, a normal egg or is it a duck egg? No, it's just a regular chicken egg in a, a pumpkin y uh, cream soup. Oh, looks lovely. Have a taste. Mmm. The soup is amazing. Is it? The soup? Mmm. And the. Mm. Mm. What did you get? Um, wine is, is wine. Mine is um, foie gras mm -hmm. with an, I think an apricot um, jelly sort of. What do you call that? Confit. Mmm, confit. That's lovely. I mean. So this looks amazing, Mr. Boo. What is this? This is a figatelli or figatellu uh, risotto with parmesan. So nice. This looks sensationally exciting, I have to say. This is an omelette of beurre, that's the cut of the beef. Uh, and this is a classic French potato dauphinois. And I didn't expect this. Some marrow, some actual bone marrow, and then beautiful, uh, delicate vegetables, uh, carrots, and possibly fennel, but I'll let you know. Let me taste this with a bit of marrow. And that looks like some parsley on top there. Mmm. The marrow makes it so 
sensationally creamy. An apricot. What is this for, Mr. Boo? Because do you think it's like a tombola or, a, or to put olives in? Tournez, donc vous savez que quand on agite la crème, ça fait beurre. Et là, il y avait un bouchon. Et après, vous faites couler le livre de lait qui reste et le beurre à l'intérieur. Ah, ouais. Rassurez-vous, ce que vous avez mangé à midi, je ne fais plus le beurre à dedans <rire> Si ça peut vous rassurer. Non, c'est. Euh, on a dit, est-ce que c'est pour du vin, pour les olives ou. Ouais, non. Pour le tombola. <rire> pour le tombola. <rire> pour le tombola, le bingo. <rire> pour le bingo de Sandy. Oui. So, what is it, Mr. Boo? It's, you may use it to make butter. Butter? Butter. An apricot. A little chocolate topped with some cream and some little biscuity things and some kind of. Toffee sauce, maybe? Oh. Oh. Chocolate moves. No, it's like a hot chocolate pot. Hot chocolate pot. Like a fondant. Like. Mi cui. It smells amazing. I'm not usually a pudding man because I'm like the Queen Mother, you know. I keep, the Queen Mother used to never have puddings to keep thin, you know, youthful. But it's included in the price, so I've got a pudding. And it's a pear tart, classic French pear tart. That's lovely, really lovely. And then I think this is a sorbet. Wow. I don't know why. Monsieur, qu'est-ce que c'est le sorbet? C'est kaki. Kaki? Vous connaissez le kaki? Oui. Maison. Oui, delicious. Mm. There you go. Kaki. Delicious. Merci beaucoup. Well, um, I have to say, I am almost reluctant to recommend that place because it is so fantastic that you sort of want to keep it all to yourself. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it is that big a secret, I guess, but he's been here, I think he said 11 years, but it was absolutely pitch perfect. Every single dish, so good. it didn't feel like a single thing had been bought in or brought in. It felt like everything was there, even down to the, the pastry um, and phenomenally good value. 28 euros for those three courses. We can't recommend What's it called? La Table des Baus. La Table des Baus. Enough. Come to saint Gene, book La Table des Baus, and, and, say that me and Mon Ami sent you. So now, having uh, had our lunch, it's now time for the exciting bit, which is to try and bring the Citroen Ami Elton into this village, because this is the real deal. This is a village per se that you can still drive through. I mean, you used to be able to drive through Villefranche, uh, but it was deemed too dangerous. Um, it's going to be quite a, a challenge, isn't it, Mr. Boo? Because these streets are quite narrow. And they're two-way. Well, you can go both ways up this. Oh, yeah. So we're heading back to the charging point hoping it's all worked and the Elton is now fully charged. <laughs> Rock man, the tree man of Alcatraz is in there, I can see <laughs> um, uh, Hoping it's fully charged and then we're gonna try and take you on a tour of the village in the car. Uh, I, I'm a little nervous about this, but it should be spectacular because this village is absolutely ravishing. And today it's like dream weather. Absolutely unbelievable. We've got 71 kilometers of autonomy, Mr. Boo. That should just about, uh, should sort us, shouldn't it? We'll be fine. Unless we get stuck in the village. You can see what an absolutely ravishing little village this is and it is well I think very unspoiled um, 
it feels like a place people live. There are gîtes, there are restaurants, not lots of them. I haven't seen a single tourist shop, there might be one, but I haven't seen it. And on a day like today, in this weather, it is, we've had it almost to ourselves, the food in the yeah. restaurant, that was it. So here's the first test through this gate. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure the people who built this town envisaged cars coming into it. Now, is this a turning circle? Oh no, I think, can we go around there? Yeah. No. Yep. Really? Yep. We can't go up there, can we? Yep. <laughs> oh! You might have to get out and direct me, Mr. Boo. Um, there's a few scrapes on that wall at the side. Wow. Now that you wouldn't want to do after a, a vat of saint Genet red wine at the Table de Baus. Did I say it right? Yeah, I think we're pronouncing the S. Baus. Oh, Baus. So, if we turn right here, is this where we go to the Table? No. No, we turn left here. Turn left? Yeah. Oh, no. I bet that's where they had their crash, Mr. Boo. <laughs> crash. This is insane. Just look at this. Huh? Are we clear? No, somebody. Coming. Oh, there's somebody coming. What do you do? Turn right. Turn right quick. Oh no, he says he's he's pulling up that way, so we so, can go straight up. That's very kind of him. And a mighty relief. Merci. And then we go left again. <laughs> Oh look, ravioli de baus. Is that a shop? Do you think they have a shop? They do, um, made to measure uh, fabrication of ravioli, oh. so you can order them. Wow, well if it's as good as their restaurant food, they're on a winner. What an incredible village to drive in. Uh, it's just so yeah. magical and mad. And we're going right. No. Yeah. So we're going, we, we better signal. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I've gone wrong. I've got stuck on the steps. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have to reverse. Hang on. Imagine trying to do this in like a, a SUV, SUV, like a big <laughs> wide. Um, so, we're we, we right. Yeah, yeah, lovely. So, we're just going past the old washout. Of course. All these villages, Villefranche has got one as well. All these have these wonderful old communal wash houses. Um, like they also often have, or did have, communal ovens, which I think is such a lovely idea. The town will gather to bake together and cook together. They do, oh, you? Nice. And so this is the restaurant where we just had lunch. And we asked him, almost jokingly, is it possible to drive past? And uh, he said, Wee! Bien sûr. And at just that point, a car drove past. Um, so there we go. That's the restaurant and these gorgeous little houses with uh, the plants outside, very like real French. Now, which way now, Mr. Boo? We can't go down there, can we? Uh, no, one way. Happy way. Well, it says happy way on the sign, so I would go it, left. It wouldn't go down there, no. That's for people, surely. Surely. Hamsters. Um. Oh, this is Rue de la Croix. <laughs> In case oh, we roof, need to the, the cross roof, ourselves. The roof of the cross. Uh, they've put some dollies out. They've had a few accidents at their house. They got sick of it, clearly. I can understand it. So you can go further up or you can go down past Liza's. Is that the other restaurant? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go up and think. I can't go straight up so we can go right here. I guess. I do hope nobody else comes. There's going to be, oh, a lot of reversing. That could be. Is that is there somebody waiting in there? I don't want to move them on because we don't really... No. We don't. We're only sightseeing. Let's try, maybe we'll turn left yeah. instead. Seeing as we're... Uh... <laughs> oh, 
Oh la la. I don't think it's gonna, is it gonna go around? Uh, wow, we did. So, if you live in a medieval village, perhaps the Citroen and me is the car for you. Um, it is very narrow. Um, but it's quite surreal it, to be driving through this. Look at the scrapes in the wall. I know. <laughs> Many have tried before and failed. Straight up or down? Straight up. There's nothing coming. <laughs> the junction. Many have tried before, but probably not in a Citroen ME. Yeah, do you think we're the first Citroen ME to ever come to saint Genis? I don't know if we can go down there. I think this is just parking to the co-working. Oh, co-working. So, so, and yeah. that's a dead end behind, up there. So we need to turn around. We need to do a little casual, casual turn. Can we all okay get the back? We're fine at the back. Uh, I'm watching this SUV at the front. It's got a few bumps in it. Am I going? Can I carry on? You mean? Carry on. There's a gutter though. Yeah, you can carry on. I don't want to fall in that gutter. Stop. Exactly. I'm like, I can't get out of that little because I'll go forward a bit. And put the handbrake on. <laughs> reverse, it's in reverse, isn't mm -hmm. it? Going in the gutter again. Stop. Oh, I think I'd do a lot of walking if I lived here. We're going into that bush. Okay. Hey? Stop. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> Are we going to get around? No. No? Mm. I'll have a look. Oh, yeah, you've done it. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it's that, I thought that was a car, but it's that child. Gutter there. So which way now? Back down to oh look the root of the rock. The root a root. Well, I would go oh no, there's a car coming to wait. Oh my god. A car coming at it? Yeah. So I would maybe reverse a bit, because it depends where they're going. Oh they're just going into the car park. Okay. Fallen asleep. Not at the wheel. <laughs> Do you think down here? Uh, you can see, or we could go straight on. I think I go straight on. Yeah. Enough excitement for one life. I think she wants to be on the on the YouTube. Well, how amazing. The most wonderful thing about this village is just how that rock completely dominates, doesn't it? It's just, you kind of wonder if they worshipped it in some old pagan times or something, because it's just so much the, the sort of soul of the village in a weird way. That man's clearly been mountaineering. I think there is, you can go potholing or something. Not, not, do they call it potholing? Yeah, I think. Yeah, certainly you can do climbing, caving. Caving, that's the word. Potholes are what they have in roads. What is it called though? Is it... They did used to call it potholing in Yorkshire, didn't they? They always used to have those potholing disasters. I think we've... this is a dead end. I think this is a dead end. Oh God, we've got to reverse out. Don't you think? Yeah, in reverse. Do you want me to guide you? Like a shining light? No, I think I'm all right. You just keep your eyes out. You'll find there's no children or cats.
Yeah. You're fine. No cavers, no miners. Am I going to reverse into a junction? No, there's no oncoming traffic. Well, I don't think anyone's going to be speeding around the corner. Well, I don't know. They might be locals. We're very over familiar with it. Right, so let's try and go forward. Any police out, traffic cops. This looks lovely. This oh, this is famous. This Shea Leaser, isn't it? This is the sort of local PMU tobacco where you go to have a coffee and a smoke and a gamble. Um, watch the GGs. And this is a, I think by Eliza Minnelli. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, I she, like this bit. She gets everywhere, Eliza. This, this is insane. Look at this for a. And the gutter is just so beautiful. It's in the original stone. Um, and there's the war memorial. And down here is the other restaurant. Um, oh, car. Oh, there's a car coming. Oh dear. Um, is, there, is there another restaurant? Is there, are there just two? That one and this. This one's got a great terrace. It's Terrace Panoramic. Terrace Panoramic. It's very busy down here. I think it's rush hour. Clearly. Oh. Saint Gene rush hour. Turned a few heads in. I bet. In the restaurant Panoramic. I bet. But we've got one more surprise for you here in uh, Saint Genet because there is the most wonderful miniature chapel, uh, the Chapel of Notre Dame de Baus. Everything in this town is about the Baus. Our Lady of the Baus. It's about this thing behind us. So, what is the story of this fantastic little chapel, Mr. Boo? Well, it was built at the end of the 15th century mm. for the villagers, mm. and it was kind of to give thanks to the bow. The rock? Yeah. I tell you, it's all about the rock, this town. And why not? Because it is quite an impressive rock. Um, and fun story, there used to have a little porch on the side. A porch? Yeah, like a little um, covered... A lean-to. A lean-to. Yeah. Um, and they had to take it away because um, all the old ladies in the village uh, would go to the wash house. Aye. Where we've been passed in the car. To have a wash. To have a wash. Aye. And they'd bring back their clothes and then they'd all stop under the porch for a chat. And, you know, it was a bit chatty. A bit ungodly. A bit ungodly so, to have these chatty washerwomen banging on outside. Oh, I see. So, so a bit like having some YouTubers inside the chapel Imagine. banging on when you're trying to uh, do, worship, do your business. But if you come to this uh, village, just come here. It is so magical. Sans permis, oui. Ah, oui, sans permis. C'est sans permis. Voilà. Oui, parce que c'est bien. 
<laughs> Bonjour, au revoir. So that was our eventful trip to Saint Genet. It really is the most magical village Perche and uh, it does have some spectacular food and some spectacular walks. So uh, paid a visit. Anyway, thanks for likes, thanks for comments, thanks for all the coffees you bought and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everyone, have a great week, bye.